infrequent travelers seem to be adapting to, uh, to, to airplane travel very well. They're ready to go. It's the girl's first trip on an airplane. Now, oh, Boo's been on one time. But this should be fun. That's suggestive. Okay, they made it through security, these terrorist looking types. And Miss Dior is lagging behind here. <laughs> of this trip to Chiang Mai was to get a notary stamp. How's that for inefficiency? You see, I had some banking business I needed to get a paper notarized for. And uh, when I, the only place to get a, a, a notary stamp that's valid in the United States in Thailand is at the U.S. Embassy. And the U.S. Embassy in Bangkok didn't have an appointment available until the end of the month. Well, I needed sooner than that. So there's a, a U.S. consulate here in Chiang Mai and they did have an appointment available. And I have a friend up here, Bill, who I'm going to have dinner with later on tonight. And uh, I, so I thought, oh, what the heck? It's you know a little bit of a vacation for moi. I will fly up to Chiang Mai and get my notary stamp done. Well, I told Buakau and the girls that I was going. They were like, I want to go. Like, okay. Just preparing to go to a waterfall. Miss Buakau looks very uh, cute in her little white dress. Hey. <laughs> and the girls are prepping. Traveling up this windy road uh, just outside of Chiang Mai in search of a waterfall, I thought this would be a good place to show you what I still think is a pretty big bargain here in Thailand, and that's car rentals. I got this baby, a Peugeot SUV that is really one fancy-ass automobile with complete comprehensive coverage for $65 a day. I think that's a, a bargain. I'm glad I got a high performance SUV for navigating this windy mountain road, but it's coming in handy for another uh, 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 another purpose, and that's uh, the girls are using it to change into some more temple appropriate clothing. They have to dress a little bit more modesty, modestly for where they want to go right now. So it's turned into a Peugeot dressing room. And here we are. The one's sexy mini skirted Miss Boa now looks like a baseball player. <laughs> so I'm just following along. I guess the plan here is to visit this uh, Wat, that, that would be a temple for those not initiated into uh, the Thailand world. So, I guess the plan is that we're going to go visit the Wat prior to going to the waterfall to take sexy pictures. These Wats always have a lot of stairs. Not exactly uh, handicapped access here. Yeah, this would be a long video if I filmed this entire stairway, wouldn't it? A golden stupa. Real gold, no doubt. By the way, it's shining in the sunlight. And the girls will come and make a bit of an offering here. It is quite beautiful. 
I mean, look at this. Look at, look at the detail. It's probably the resting place of an old holy man. That's usually what these stupas indicate. And I can see what's happening. We're walking around. I guess we walk around three times generally. I just appreciate the artwork. Bullock, I was looking at pictures and she saw this photograph of a uh, woman in a bikini near a waterfall. And she says, oh, I want to take pictures like that. And I was like, can do. I discovered this waterfall off the side of the road that was unmarked. And, uh, you know, no, actually very few places to even park. In, in other words, it was secluded. Nice place for a bikini shoot. So we stopped there and we had to climb up a few rocks and it was a little bit of an adventure getting to the spot where we wanted to shoot the pictures. So I didn't take any video because I was focused on the still photography, but I said, I got some great shots and here they are here for you to uh, peruse at your convenience. It was, it was a really fun day. Two days and a wake up in Chiang Mai to you know, ostensibly get a notary stamp turned into quite a lovely trip. And we're headed back to Bangkok a little later today. I guess the moral of this trip is you have an administrative chore to do, turn it into a fun trip. And if you're lucky like me, you can bring uh, Ms. Ying, who is a pathfinder. She's the one who's discovered all these nice restaurants that we've eaten in. And of course, Ms. Bua Cow and her fancy bag and Miss Kelly looking to hide behind her public uh, health awareness mask. I'm glad to see she's taking it off for breakfast. Oh yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.